ABC Banyazara Sofi. Welcome to Soweto TV. Thank you so much, and thanks for the opportunity. I think it's the first time that I'm on Soweto TV. Oh, well, there's always first time for everything. <laughs> I mean, like, for the first time since the democracy that we have the results that we have. So there's always a first time. No, no, it's true. It's, <laughs> yeah. true. it's true. So, man, just take us through. I mean, we know you've been all over. We've just hijacked you on yeah. a very busy day. Yeah. I mean, the results were released. Um, but... What's your true sentiment and the feeling around it? I mean, it's been a lot of hard work, I'm sure, especially last year. With Mixed emotions, I must be honest. Um, the interesting part is the performance of township schools yes. uh, and, and our girl children. So, you know, when you check the performance of township schools, you, 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 you get this excitement because... Township schools have been written off all over, yes. uh, that there's nothing good about them. Mm. Uh, mm. But for them, I mean, t uh, I picked up in my speech a school in so to call Prudence. Uh, I mean, they've given us 100%. There are some schools in your uh, natural and uh, they can't even give me give it us, yeah. a, a 100%. But this school has given me 100%, and they've also given me uh, a good bachelor passes. So mm. you go to a school in deep slot in the middle of poverty. Uh, they've given us 100%. Not only 100% pass, but they've given us 80% bachelor passes. It means mm. that out of every uh, 10 students, eight are going to university. Uh, and you check the schools are on four ways. They can't give me those the results. Yes. Uh, so so that's, that's the part that excites me. Obviously, the part that uh, disappoints is that we've allowed the free state to be number one. Uh, but... Uh, we have to congratulate them and thank them, uh, but we'll come back. But also there are areas where I'm, I'm not happy, yes. uh, in particular in, in Soweto and our uh, surrounding area. There is a school in Club Sprite. Uh, that school used to do uh, uh, perform very well they were in the 90s, 80s. They are now in the 60s, 70s. I'm not happy. There's a school called El Rado Park as well. They are now in the 70s. Uh, they used to be also in the 80s in the and 80s, 90s. Uh, but... But generally... What do you um, attribute that to, you, maybe? In, in, in it's when parents disrupt schools. Okay. Uh, those schools that I've just mentioned, there were parents meeting, they don't want the principal, or they don't want this kind of a teacher. And this has, has, this has been going on for the it's past two on years. For quite some time. Yeah, yeah, for quite some yeah. time. I remember how you've yeah. tried to intervene. And the in performance that. now is not, uh, is not well, and it's creating problems. Because one of the important things that you've always spoken about is the element of parents yeah. not being in the equation yeah. that yeah. much. Uh, we've, the, the department has achieved its goal of making sure at least that they get the maximum. Yeah. And, but yeah, are you satisfied with the role that the SGB and the parents have played so far? Well, in some instances, yes. I can say 80% of schools and SGBs are doing well, but there's 20% of SGBs uh, that are not assisting us. I mean, you take Morris uh, Isaacson, a school with a rich history. I had to go then dissolve the SGB. Uh, because instead of putting the interest of the school, they were fighting amongst themselves. Uh, at one stage, they closed the gates, closing the learners outside. So you don't want uh, those kind of schools yes. or, or, or those kind of parents that think that uh, it's about them. Uh, but, but there are parents that are doing well. There are parents that are, are supporting us. And there are parents that are investing their own resources in education. So we need to accept that and really promote that. And, and I think I, I was looking at, I mean, I've followed you for quite some time. Yeah. When you look at the fact that um, uh, the Premier spoke about the fact that now you, there is going to be a lot of uh, working relationship between you and social development. Indeed. What most people don't know is that you've actually, before education, you were part yes, of social development. Yes, so how is that uh, marriage true. working out? Uh, in the office, they make a joke. They say I'm MEC for social education uh, <laughs> because I'm still acting MEC for social development and I'm also doing education. Social development is very important. Let me tell you, you know, poverty does not know any race, any color. Yes. Uh, and if someone is poor, is poor, you can't postpone it. So you need to attend to it as, as fast as possible. But it needs to support education. You need to ensure that if at school 
we give children school nutrition, whether at home, social development must give them must something. Give, so yes, yes. that's the part that uh, we're working on, and we're quite excited with that particular part. But you are quite right. Social development is at the center of any human development because in the absence of it, the weak will, leave, will, will, will be left out, and only those that are privileged that will prosper. So I guess when you look at the, the township setup, yeah. is that now, in fact, this the week, we have yeah. just seen a lot of young ones returning to your crash and all of yeah. that. How are you working with the parents, the schools, and the entire system to make sure that all these young ones become part of one plan, which is making sure that once you receive them, they are well prepared and fully all to go out? We've started that process. Now uh, we're, we're relocating ECD uh, from social development to education. Oh, okay. um, and, and to us, it's a very important intervention because gone are the days where children must go to crash just to eat, sleep, dance, and go home. Yeah, because uh, that's been the crisis that's in been the, the problem that we have. So now what we've done, we're, we're, we're putting new teachers. Uh, we've, we've made uh, an, an arrangement with UNISA to train teachers so that they can be proper, qualified teachers. We've spoken to the minister to change the curriculum. We've, we're now taking an audit of all ECD centers in Gauteng to check which one have proper standards and which one don't have proper standards so that we can lift them up to be at the same path. But what you need is to teach those children while they're still young, while their mind can still grab. Yeah, so that because if you can't, you'll have missed an opportunity. So now with, with that, I just want us to go back to this. What would you attribute the success of 2019? And it's not, it didn't just start in 2019. Maybe this is a group that's... Accountability. Started, yeah. Accountability. In the absence of accountability, will not succeed. If a principal is the authority, those below him or her must respect him. Uh, if they don't, then we can't work. Uh. And the principal must know that they must respect the district director. If they can't, we won't work. And my responsibility is to ensure that there's accountability within the system. If you have not arrived at work today, you must account. Why didn't you come to work? But if we don't do that, then the system, anyone can do whatever they want. Because if you suspend accountability, when you want someone to account, they will say, but you didn't do this uh, nice. uh, earlier. Why are you doing it with me? So our results, to be quite frank, uh, is, a, is accountability. Uh, uh, Steve, our spokesperson, will tell you, he entered one meeting and found people crying. Uh, and he asked himself, who has died? Uh, mm -hmm. Because people are counting. Yes. Uh, because if you don't do that, uh, I can tell you, we are not going to get the results that you want. So I, I can say the single thing that uh, is an overriding success of our results is it's accountability. And, and I think also on, on that, um, being able to, I mean, when we looked at the award ceremony yeah. here, there was a lot of people, mm -hmm. but you had expected a lot from the community to also yeah. be involved and yeah. the auditorium to be full, yeah. uh, which is still a bit of a missing element it's where true. you it's find true. most it's learners true. come from this yes. impoverished yes. circle and they yes. go to school. And yeah. they still have to come here alone as well. No, it's true. It's so true. as uh, yeah. your department going forward, what are some of your key um, things that you want to achieve going forward? Performance to, to happen at the, at, the, at the closest area where a person is. Uh, I said it in my speech. You know how many buses are leaving Soweto to go to Linesi? It's a lot. It's shocking. And, and, and private hired, or those uh, school, it's uh, yeah, school transports. Those taxis, those buses, they must start to make a huge turn back to the township. Because quality is there. Did you hear us announcing a school from Lens uh, performing here? No. But I've announced a school from Soweto performing very well. So the mentality must change. Uh, but we're also introducing mm. something that we call grading. Each and every school now will have a grade, like five-star hotels. The area where you know this is a five-star hotel, oh. this is a four-star, this is a three-star. So you'll see next to a name of every school, name if there is five, you must know this is a five-star school. Doesn't, isn't that going to cause traffic at all? No, 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 no. Because there are some schools that are doing well, but they can't attract learners because you will ask a friend, hey, man, a friend, uh, is that school sharp? A friend will say the school is sharp, but this friend is not an expert, does not know. So if you start to grade school according to their performance, parents will make informed decisions because every year, every school must have a start. That is why 
uh, we're going to release the results of primary schools as well. Oh, wow. uh, so that a school from Dom A until metric must have a star. If you have five star, you know it's a good school. Four, you know, mm, three, average, two, one. I was one down, I'm not going. So, so this is a kind of a, a, a education, education that you want to introduce. Uh, and obviously you believe in uh, the power of uh, comprehensive education. So I mean, true. You, true. You, you, you played football. Because yeah. I get my name, yeah, I got my name. Yeah, name there. Yeah. So, like uh, about Siege, like about Gorbaku, yeah, I'm going to say about Umat applying. Yeah, yeah. And, but then you turned out to be, they don't know how actually sports is your first love. No, 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 it is. It is. It's a full baby sport. That's why I got a so to TV because now the Kale Fube, the Yamroga song. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Kintoza. The Dube Bed. Kintoza. So, <laughs> what what are we then doing? Because you know these kids get bored when yeah. they go. I mean, it's like I'm serving you a male co main course meal, and yeah. there's no dessert or there's no starter. Yeah. With when you look at the fact that there's no other extramural activities to be able to say, with all of this, then there's this part of the curriculum that we play basketball, soccer, tennis, and all of that, especially in the township where we have. See, like let's say White City, for instance, they have. No, no, no. It's just uh, to be able to. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm doing now. Uh, you are the first to hear this. The problem is that when you build a new school, you assume these children must only play soccer and netball, hmm. and that's very wrong. So you will see we are opening a new school in Otrasak uh, next week. Uh, the sporting facilities must be sporting facilities for all sporting codes. If they want to play tennis, they must, they must play, play there. Yes. You know, so you must not think that we can't have a rugby field in a school in Soweto, uh, or swimming pool, swimming pool yes. or, or cricket field. So we are now building schools with better sporting facilities, not your traditional yeah. uh, sporting facilities, because that's a problem. What stops our children not to have a golf facility in a school? Hmm? So now, all of these things happening now, yeah. are you then going to facilitate the regional tournaments? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because that's very we are the reigning champion of school sports, by the way. Uh, uh, we've won it three times nationally, consecutively. Mm. Uh, we've won it now in December. There is that school sports. The problem is that we, we, we failed to lift it up where people can see it. Uh, but remember, during our days, uh, you can see Dr. Kumalo Fanimadita, because Nosna PlayStation, Nosna DST, yeah, Nosna Soweto TV. So all of us were there at the same time. Now we are competing with main entertainment. Uh, people want to go better piano, gamo, gamo get my poisa. So so you you compete with many things. Mm. Uh, that is why people think it's not there. Uh, but in reality, school sport is there, active. Uh, as I said, we are the reigning champion as Gauteng. We've beaten all other schools in school sport uh, in the country. Hmm. That's a very good. I, I just hmm. want to get into something that's very important. I think that yeah. will be towards the last of my uh, math and science yeah. in the province. Um, I, we, you, we've seen that you've been on the massive drive to open new schools yeah. that are now built in with all of those facilities. Yeah. Yeah. How far are you in making sure that the ones that are there already do you sustain the infrastructure? I'm inviting you to join me when I open North Khasek, uh, school next week. Okay. You'll be shocked, my brother. Actually, already the principal is complaining. People are parking outside. They think it's a mall, they're looking for Edgars, but it's a school. It's a school. <laughs> Because, uh, because, I mean, people, especially the townships are gay, where most of us are, people are yeah. not really used to these things. When it's there, it's a communal thing. It's not for a specific school. school. alone. Yes. And that's why I'm saying the things that are raising about maths and science. We are putting laboratories in primary schools now. Uh, we are putting free Wi-Fi in all our schools so that children can research and check all this. So we, why am I impressed with what yes. we are doing? Yes. We have to do more. It's just that... You can't just build a school overnight uh, because we've got the budget. It's just that it takes time to build some Jeez. of the schools. But uh, wait until you see North Khasek. Lue na ufita ra no wabono re something. Yeah, wala ufita ra rotlo wabono re something. Yeah, it's ala ra. No, no, because why we have the time as think also as media, we never really take the time to 
get to reflect yeah. on the good work that the government has done. No, you're so right. You're so and, right. You're waiting for something to be bent down before you, you can... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, how Tukelo happened yeah, in, in, in Everton, that's and true. we wanted to follow up after yeah. that. But yeah. uh, these are uh, school infrastructure that sometimes some of them get vandalized. So true. And so by true. the very same community members. No, so so going into 2020, your message for them as well, to just to say, as we build, we don't want people to be setting us back again. No, it's true. That is why we say we mess up our school, we'll mess you up as well. Uh, because we can't leave you. Uh, the police must come, arrest you, mess your life, put you in jail. Because why will somebody ban a school, honestly? Why will somebody go and steal a smart board in a school? Why will somebody disrupt a school purely because they're they selfish? So, so we, we need to be very firm on those things. Uh, we don't have to be nice guys. Uh, gone are the days of nice guys. If you mess a school, we have to disrupt your life as well. Mm, yeah. Okay. So now, um, the last year's grade 11 are doing grade 12 this year. Yeah. Um, and a lot of, I know a lot of plans are in place already for you. And you know, we're starting arise. them. Yeah, we're starting with them. We want to start now immediately with Saturday schools. And, uh, are those compulsory schools. Saturday schools? They're compulsory ones. They're compulsory. You can see that the we must not get tired of investing in township schools because that's how the Saturday schools are investment. And people think that we are wasting money. I always tell them, uh, go and see the children of the rich. And yeah. you pay those and, and, services and, and, are paid and, for. And, and, and we can see the results. The results are coming nicely. Because, I mean, I've seen a lot of these kids sometimes are lazy to go to a Saturday school because it's, to them it's like six days of school. And they don't want to go, and then the parents are there encouraging. Maybe the parents don't know that. I invite them to see the curriculum of China. Barola uh, School. Mm. They start at seven. Between three and five, it's compulsory. They must sleep. Mm. Uh, when they wake up at five, it's, 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 it's dedication. Yeah. And then during the uh, every day, there's a certain sport they must play. Uh, so so if if. <laughs> so because, I mean, those are some yeah. of the things that we do, but uh, yeah. uh, MEC, we just yeah. really want to like to thank you so much no, for you coming so much. to you. But we just also, the, 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 the message for the people of yeah. Soweto, too, I don't know what is it's it. It's very mean. simple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a circulator, social network, it's very simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's yeah, we saw that message. Oh, wrong. Yeah, we saw actually there was yeah. an SMS chain that was sent around. It was bad. Even Morris Isaac seemed for two yes. percent, yes. and I was like, That's even if they are they are underperforming, I they don't think two yeah. percent yeah. can it be. But they've given me eighty-one percent, and I want to thank the people of Soweto. But because parents give us a good swan, but we'll be sorry. Yeah, because a lot of people are actually saying now that we're getting into that concept yeah. quickly. Uh, east now is beginning, East and North are you beginning to pay more attention there? Not necessarily. I mean, Swan is doing well. They're number one in the country, they're number one in the province. So, but what was it about so About so well. But so, in terms of education as a whole, or because the resources How now so well, are now going to be. In terms of education. In terms of education. Because someone was asking that this education thing, the minister must make it more fashionable. Uh, the MEC must make it fashionable. So now, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> it's not necessarily Kabezana, but also festivities around it as well. Well, that is why I feel that you, you must remember we are catching up as a country. Yes. Uh, you are China, you are. You are Singapore, they didn't have apartheid. We had apartheid. So we have to catch up but compete. Compete at the same uh, time. So if people want things fashionable, uh, I always ask, fashion A, let's say the piano. <laughs> we can't do the piano. Uh, 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 or 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 is it poisa? We can't do that for so long. We, we, yeah, you, you have you, to. You, 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 yeah, there must be a certain stature that needs to be protected. And that is why I say, if learners know that from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock is school, they must do the rest after school. But when it's going towards uh, examination, they must know that whatever they were doing after school is now focused to study. Because if you don't do that, uh, we can. We're not saying music and other things yes. are not wrong, but the number of young people that are hooked to drugs and alcohol in this country, it's just too much. 
It's just too and, much. And that actually goes to the schools yes, as well, where you've seen you teachers being you. attacked and you the violence that goes into the school. I mean, and and we see that continue every day, and people judge from the yeah. distance. Are you doing anything maybe with the Department well, of Well, I'm doing it with, the, well? with the, you know, I've started something with my foundation of uh, a, a alcohol-free South Africa, because uh, you can't have so many people that are drunk. Uh, mm. I know I'm speaking to young people that are behind these cameras, but... Uh, responsible drinking is something that you call for. But there are some people who are not human. You see more drunk than sober. Yeah. 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 They will scratch their heads more than when you I know, ask the, where the, the one in Mufula is about to close. Can if if it's not closed, can the one see? opposite the park. So it's such a beautiful space. You there. can't. You can't allow that. So that I'm saying, as society, I'm an Arvimbato, man. Arvimbato. At least I won. Yeah, and so. Uh, life can continue after that. No, man. Uh, I mean, see, yeah. we thank you very much for your time. I know you pressed for time, but we wish you all the best for 2020. Enjoy, and we'll please. talk to you again. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Hey, can I tell you the bicycle is only another so way to TV? No, we are good. Yeah, I didn't know how to get the bicycle. Nah, we we yeah. get in there. No, no, no. Next no. time we'll show him Rocco Solos playing uh, live. Saturday one day, they want to see the Rocco Solos again. Because they're not ready to try to learn to talk. Because they want to see the Rocco Solos two bicycle. Obam not. Story say that they want. Cor story say that they want can. So government can say now. So we're going to show the Rocco Solos two TV. Let's go and watch. The story is alone. Di pasha asha.